Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video we are taking a detailed look at the North Face 2021 Recon that I've been testing over the course of the last two weeks. This is one of North Face's core offerings that they change every year, so let's dive in and check out all the details. All right, so there are a good amount of materials on this thing. I know that all of the external fabrics are 100% recycled, which is great. Um, we've got like polyester and nylon throughout. This, I'm not sure, it doesn't really say on the site, but it's almost got this like tarpaulin feel. So there's some kind of coating here that, that makes it feel a little bit rubbery. And that's like on the base, just to help with durability down here at the bottom. Um, and then we've got YKK zippers too, which I think is a big upgrade, you know, on the, compared to like the Jester, for example, which is a little bit cheaper. The YKK zippers are definitely the way to go because on this year's Jester, they don't have those. And I think YKK is just like the way to go. Um, so big upgrade there. All right. So those are like the materials and there's kind of like a ripstop material here. This is a ripstop nylon. So you can see there's a hex grid there as well. And North Face is always changing up. It's, it's kind of hard to track down because they're always changing up their fabrics, you know, every year, even multiple times a year. And then different colorways will have different fabrics. So it's, it's hard to track down. Um, but overall, quality materials used here. I wouldn't say the same about, let me just pull it up now because I was talking about it. The Jester, you know, I just don't think has, has quite of quality materials. So you have these zippers, not YKK, not quite as good. But the Recon, I feel much better about the materials. Okay, cool. So let's start off with the harness system because I think it's a super comfortable harness system. It's certified by the American Chiropractic Association, if that means anything to you. I just know that it's comfortable to wear. That's all I care about. So there you go. Um, at the top here, I really, the thing that I really like about this harness system are these, the way that these straps attach to the bag. It's huge for flexibility. Um, you don't have load lifters. So what this does is it, basically allows different body types to be comfortable wearing this, this um, strap system. So you have this seat belt like nylon strip up here at the top that just makes it easy to flex around. So if you have a narrower frame, it, they can easily flex. If you have a wider frame, they can flex as well. Now, if the material of the strap itself, which is a little bit more rigid as you see than this top part is attached directly to the bag, like it is a lot of the times, and a lot of other bags we've reviewed, it's a little bit stiffer. So if I'm trying to move off of that pivot point and that's stitched directly in, it's more stiff. So I think this is designed to fit a wider variety of body types and I always find it more comfortable when a bag has this on the top. Um, like my GoRuck GR2 that I traveled the world with for two years, that has this up at the top. And I think they stopped doing that for some iterations or something, but I really, really love that. So can't stress enough how awesome that is. Now, looking at the rest of the harness system, pretty basic, but also very comfortable. You've got some pretty uh, good density here on the straps, comfortable to wear. Um, you've got two little loops up here, which are not only reflectors, but they can also be used to hang something off of them. So if you have like a carabiner, you, you can do that. It's got my favorite sternum strap adjustment system, which is just on this rail. You can get it to the fit exactly where you want. Uh, again, yeah, we have like ITW hardware here and some Duraflex here as well. So that's Duraflex, ITW sternum strap. So yeah, the materials are kind of all over the place, but North Face just sort of does that. And then this right here, it's kind of cool. This is actually a whistle. So if you get lost or something, or there's an emergency, you just, there you go, a little whistle. It gets louder than that. Hopefully that wasn't too loud on the mic, um, but there you go. And then the adjustment system, pretty easy down here. Um, not really, nothing crazy to speak of. The one thing I'll say about this bag is it can turn into a little North Face logo there. Uh, it can turn into a strappy mess. So there's no elastic keepers here to keep these ex these straps in check. And then we have a, a uh, adjustable waist strap down here at the bottom. And at 30 liters, I mean, I think this helps. I was able to feel a little bit of weight coming off of my body while using it. But more than anything, it's used to just keep the bag kind of centered and in position on your back. And you know, there is like an adjustment point back here 
to kind of get that strappy mess behind you. Otherwise you just have these straps kind of flapping in your front and then these are flapping at your side and then you have, you know, this flapping at your front too. So it could definitely provide like a cleaner look if there were some elastic keepers, which would keep that strap just tied down like that, for example, and these straps tied down like that. Um, so that's not super great. Another thing about the sternum strap I forgot to mention is this elasticated part right here. Makes it a little bit comfortable, more comfortable to wear as you're moving around. Um, but so yeah, kind of a strappy mess. I mean, a lot of bags too will have like a design where this excess fabric can kind of be tucked underneath into this bag or like behind the water bottle pocket. And uh, that's not really the case here with the recon. So that's maybe a con I would give it is that it's just not really, you know, it's got a very clean silhouette, but the straps kind of make it look a little bit messy. And you can even see in some of the photos we took as well that it, that it can look like that. Um, very comfortable back panel here. It's designed to give you a little bit of airflow. I believe last year's model or the year before they had mesh on the back, on the straps here and on the back here as well. So again, always changing, kind of hard to track down those details, but I would say it's comfortable. And uh, you know, I usually like mesh on, on back panels, but I'm not super picky because if my back's gonna get sweaty, I've found that no backpack, <laughs> back panel design is, is really gonna you know, save me from a sweaty back. So great harness system overall, just a little bit of a strappy mess. Um, speaking of strappy mess, let's move back down where we do have some elastic keepers on these little bottom compression or accessory straps here. So this is what I was talking about, it keeps the strap right, it's flapping around, but you can just position this elastic keeper and keep things more clean because those straps are connected together. Um, if you wanna like throw something at the bottom here, like a yoga mat, you can definitely do that and tighten it down. Um, it can also be used to just tighten this bag. So you see the fold here, that's where you're gonna get really that extra you know, this bag is, is, is thir acclaimed 30 liters. I think it feels a little bit smaller than that when I've actually been using it. But if you let this out, that's gonna let you take advantage of that extra space. But if I wanna cinch it down, you can get a more minimal profile, which I really like. I really love this bag for everyday carry. Maybe a little bit large for me, but I, I like having the extra space too. So you can pull that down. I like too, it's clever, like the Recon logo kinda, kinda goes away of, up the front of the pack. Um, when these are completely strapped down. And again, you have these little like reflective marks down here, which is cool too. So you have more visibility. I know North Face on their site, at least they were kind of pitching this as a campus backpack. And I think it's a good hybrid, like everyday carry backpack that can also be used on the trail too. Daisy chains going down the sides. I've just got a carabiner clip on this one. I think these daisy chains are like a little bit um, big which you know is fine, but I've seen them a little bit smaller on other bags and I've kind of liked that smaller of a look. I think it's a little bit cleaner. This, you kind of get some folds in the sides, um, but I'm just getting picky now, up to you whether you like it or not. And then um, let's see what else we got. These um, compression straps in the side. So one of the things that I wanted to show you is I have a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle, or sorry, um, hydro flask bottle on this side and with, with some room to spare. And I've tightened this down. It's locked in there pretty good, even when this isn't tightened down. Now on this side, I've put a laptop stand. This is my uh, roof stand V3. And that's really locked in there because I tightened this down. But now when I let that out, there's a lot more flex uh, opening to it and it can slide out. And I wanted to show you this because it's, this is like a slick metal nylon or a, a slicker nylon to the touch so it's very slippery which is great if it's shoved in a bag but even like the slipperiest stuff and smallest stuff can be just cranked in with this compression strap on the side so i think that's a really nice design you have this kind of tarpaulin coated uh, material here on the outside and then i'll just show you too with a uh, hydro flask here this one's a 21 ounce um, that can fit here on this side as well so if you have a smaller bottle that goes in, this is kind of the modern water bottle size and you can crank that down too. So very nice water bottle straps uh, or uh, compression straps here to help with the water bottle. And then they can also help with just, if your bag is less full, you can crank this down and continue to give your bag a bit of a lower profile as well, which is nice. As far as the anatomy of these straps, what I like about it is there's this uh, mesh on the backside here that can stretch you know, if you end up getting some water down here at the bottom, it can drain out the side here as well. 
If it was all this fabric, it'd be a little bit harder to drain out and could drain into your bag, but it easily just drains out the side here. Um, which is nice and then we're just getting in the way of those straps I think you know if I was using this for for my 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 just Everyday carry and wasn't just testing it for two weeks. I'd probably just take these off uh, This waist strap here at the bottom. So you, you definitely can do that. You just thread this this strap through All right, so that is That that is the water bottle pockets. Let me take the hydro flask out just to give us a little bit more flexibility set this down over here and we're moving on. So just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I guess I didn't talk about this handle at the top. There's some relatively nice density here. You can see there's some good stitching there too. Really comfortable and soft to grab to the touch, but also rigid enough to, you know, feel like you're getting a nice grab on it. Um, the, there's a, a nice back panel too here. So it's got some good structure to it. Now, I noticed in a lot of the, the marketing videos on North Face site, it's standing up on its own. And uh, mine isn't. Now, if you pack it right, it will. But I just wanted to show you that mine is not. And I think some of that has to do with the rigidity of this frame sheet, which makes it very comfortable to carry. However, it's like the most rigid point is down here. So if you wanna match that rigid point, you need like a heavy camera cube or some like heavy textbooks down here at the bottom to get it to stand up on its own. I've got a lunchbox in there now, um, but it's not quite enough to get it to stand up on its own. Little reflective tabs on the sides and there's just so much going on. I think this is now a time, I just wanted to compare the silhouette of this bag, the Recon, compared to the Borealis too for you just real quick. So the Borealis looks a little bit more like an adventure bag. I think there's more going on. There's a little more functionality. You've got this kind of like bungee system on the outside, which I think has been a little bit better in previous years. This is the uh, 2021 model. On the Recon, I love this front pocket. It is awesome. I've got a hoodie inside of there, and then I've just got gloves at the bottom and a buff. And I love this system. I think it looks very clean, and all this stuff was in there and still looking relatively clean, just bulged out a bit. But the profile of this bag, the Recon is awesome. And the Borealis just has more going on. It looks a little bit more like an adventure pack. Obviously you got all the kind of strappy mess here that this one does, but that bungee system I think just adds um, more to it. And it's not quite as clean of a look, it's more of like an adventure look. Um, okay, cool. So that. This front pocket, I mean, really stretches out. I had a hoodie in there. You could throw a jacket in here. You know, it's loose, so if it gets wet, uh, rain can, can come out. I guess there is no drain holes here at the bottom, which sometimes there is. So I, I'd expect maybe a drain hole to be here to let the water out, but it's, it's going to be fine. It's in the outside of your bag. But I love that stretchy uh, situation. I think it's just a really great front pocket. Okay, I'm looking around making sure we didn't miss anything before we go to the inside of the bag. Um, so yeah, let's, let's continue on to the inside. There is a, a slash pocket right here that opens up. It's a very soft kind of um, felty like material here. It feels almost like a microfiber, but it's fuzzy as well. So it feels nice to the touch. I've just got my wallet inside of here and like a lighter and a mask. Um, so if you want, you know, just it's, it's good for quick access here. The one thing that's a little odd, it hasn't really bothered me, but a lot of the pockets volume is up here at the top. So it goes all the way around and then it goes down to about here too. So it's more of like a, a split pocket where you can put stuff inside. Relatively ample size space, but if you really start filling this thing up, you're gonna wanna just access this when it's down on its back like this. Cause if it's really filled up and you're trying to just get quick access to it, but there's a lot on the top, it could easily just spill out down the front of the bag. So that's just one thing to note there. There's a horseshoe zipper here that opens up and that's gonna give us access to uh, the inside of the bag here with a small organizer. So I have a pen on this side and then I've just got like my passport and field notes here. The one thing I wanted to show you that's interesting is this pocket here. I would typically on pretty much every bag I've tested, there's been enough space here to throw in like a little field notes notebook or my passport, but with this, it's just slightly too small. 
Um, so I, I usually put my notebook next to my pen, but in this case, I threw it on this front uh, mesh pocket here that you can see, which isn't quite what I wanted to do, but that, that's okay. I mean, it's, it's a little bit wider here. If you got like a small power bank, you could throw that in here. I've got a magic mouse on this side. This is that same kind of soft microfibery feeling material that we saw in that front pocket. So that's nice for like, you know, any devices or if you want to throw your phone in there. You could totally do that as well. I'll just set these off to the side for now. And yeah, the, the, this pocket goes down to about there as well. So it goes a little bit lower than this one at the top, but you know, it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, which I like, because I feel like oftentimes when it does, a lot of this front space gets wasted. And then this, since it stops here, it kind of balances out this stretchy pocket if you want to stuff something bigger down there. You're going to have more space because this pocket ends. Okay, so that covers that. And then there's this little like tablet pocket in the back. I've just got like a notebook back there for right now. Um, but it's, it's padded too. It's, it stays away from this front admin organization area. And then um, this is again like another different material. It's like soft and kind of stretchy. Um, it's not like a swishy liner, like this is more of a swishy liner. This is like a softer and stretchy liner. So just so many materials going on inside of this bag. And when you're the North Face and you have all these resources to try new things and swap it up and get a bunch of different materials in high quantities, you can definitely do things like that. Um, so that covers the, the front two pockets. Now I just want to talk about the back pocket and let's take a second to, to chat about the zipper pulls. So I like these hooks. These are really nice. If you're wearing gloves, you can still like get your finger in here and hook these open. They're very grabbable, very easy, and they're silent. So this bag, despite having so many zippers, is silent up here. And even on these where they left those metal pulls, there is um, a uh, little bit of paracord here that goes through and kind of muffles that, that, that uh, a bit. So a bag like this with how many zippers it has can be loud, but it stays nice and quiet, which I dig. It's always a consideration for me. Pull this out, I have a 16 inch MacBook Pro inside of here, so that fits in with ease. Um, I've seen a lot of reviews that say that the laptop is suspended. The laptop compartment is suspended, right? So normally what that does is that puts your laptop up here so that if you drop this bag on the ground, that frame sheet's gonna hit first and then anything inside of the main compartment. Not, not really the case with this, this iteration. Um, it's elevated a bit and it's separated from this bottom pot part, but I wouldn't really count on that to not slam against the ground um, if you are you know, using this on the daily. So just be careful setting it down. I would, I would put a case on here as well. So like an in-case sleeve can give you a little bit more padding and protection, but this isn't really, um, like it, 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 it tries to be elevated from the bottom, but it, it's not really. So I, I wouldn't call it the best laptop protection, but it is in a nice frame sheet and it is pretty padded here with the, the frame sheet as well. And we can start to see, you know, the structure of that frame sheet now that, that this is um, empty. You know, you have a lot of flexibility here, which is great, which I really like. And then there is a little port up top here for a water bladder that you can stick that through if you want to take this thing on a hike, you know, take your laptop out uh, on the weekend. You want to go do some outdoor stuff, go on a hike, that's great. This, there's a Velcro here as well for like a toggle um, for, for a water bladder. So you can hang that in there and get that mounted in there as well. Um, little thing by the North Face here. Go ahead and pause it if you want to read it. I think I gave you enough time there. All right, and then let's get on to the main event, the main pocket here. So even you can see it still not standing up on its own without the laptop in there. Um, you know, I think these would have to be loosened up and I'd really have to pack out the bottom. So what I have inside of that main compartment here, tech pouch, uh, just like a rain shell. I'll set that up to the side and then a lunch box in here as well. Um, relatively heavy. It's got, you know, Tupperware and a soda can in it. So a seltzer can rather. So I'll set that up to the side for now. But I think, you know, you, you really have to like, if you want to really pack this thing out, you got to really shove it down uh, like a camera cube down there or something if you want it to stand up on its own. But I personally love this. I don't really mind that much that it doesn't stand on its own, but it's something that people always ask us about. So I like to, to talk about it. Just a wide open, empty space here for like, you know, textbooks or packing cubes if you're going on a weekend trip 
or you can keep it more empty and really cinch these sides down and create a lower profile look. And I just, this is a great bag. I mean, this is probably my personal favorite compared to the Borealis and the Jester. And the Recon is just an awesome standby. I mean, Austin, our community manager, when he, we interviewed him, he came in wearing a Recon. He loves it as well. Um, so overall, really great bag. North Face Recon, thanks for keeping me here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. And we will see you in the next video.